Hi, my name is Jim Ellis. I work for Needek Motor Corporation. You likely know us as U.S. Motors, as that's the brand line we use in the pool and spa industry. Today I'm going to introduce you to our new Neptune Variable Speed Pool Pump Replacement Motor. And today we're going to discuss how you, the service person, can utilize these energy efficient products to help the homeowner save significant utility cost dollars to upgrade to the latest technology products and in the process you could sell a higher value product and increase your revenue. I'll show you how to make this a win-win for you and for the homeowner customer. So you get to your customer's pool and notice the water is green and the pump's not working. The good news is there are multiple potential upgrades pool owners can make that not only reduce their energy costs, but also pay for themselves in as little as two months. And you can coach them right through this. So after some inspection, not only is the pump not working, you find the pump seals have failed, causing the motor's bearings to be washed out. You need at least a new motor and pump seal, and you have the opportunity to upgrade the pump and motor to meet the new DOE 2021 rule, which takes effect July 19th, 2021. So let's now begin to review each of the options that we have. You likely know all of these, but we will go through them anyway. Number one is to replace the failed single speed motor with a new single speed motor. NEDEC always recommends adding a timer to the system so you could turn the water over two times daily, which is the industry's recommended standard for water turnover. Number two is you could upgrade to a two speed motor. And right now, options one and two are available, but if that July 19th, 2021 DOE rule takes effect on time, options one and two will not be available from that point forward. Option three is to upgrade to a variable speed replacement motor, such as the Neptune. Option four is to upgrade to a variable speed pump, so you'd get the whole new pump, which is really a standard pump end and a variable speed motor powering it. Let's go through each of those options. We will use a good, better, best methodology to review our options. But first, let's get grounded on the size of the pool and the equipment on the equipment pad. Then we should calculate the number of gallons we need to pump each day. This process should be conducted any time you replace a motor or pump. We check the total horsepower of the motor and it is a 2.6 total horsepower design. We know the number of gallons of water in this pool are 20,000, 20,000 gallons of water. We reviewed the pump curve and measured GPM or gallons per minute at a previ previous visit to this pool and know the pump is capable of running at 100 gallons per minute at full speed. So as previously mentioned, and unless this homeowner has small children and swim diapers in the pool, two water turnovers per day is the industry's recommendation for residential pools. If this homeowner has small children swim, swim diapers in this pool, we may want to turn the water over three times per day for obvious reasons. But we'll use two for our analysis. So this 20,000 gallon pool, we need to pump 20,000 gallons times two turnovers per day is 40,000 gallons of water we need to pump each day. 40,000 gallons to pump each day divided by 100 gallons per minute on our pump equals 400 minutes to pump each day. This is six hours and 40 minutes. The pump has been running 16 hours per day previously which means they've been pumping 16 hours per day times 60 minutes per hour times 100 gallons per minute, 96,000 gallons of water each day, whereas they only needed to pump 40,000 gallons each day. This is a huge savings opportunity for you to, to discuss with the pool owner. For this good option, we need to sell the homeowner a new single speed replacement motor for maybe approximately $300 is what we found online and add a, an approximate $100 timer to run the pump for only six hours and 40 minutes each day. We're using the US average kilowatt hour cost, which is 11.7 cents in this analysis. And with a very long formula, we calculated the annual cost to run this new motor six hours and 40 minutes each day will be $630, $630 annually to run this product. By using this same formula, running the old motor 16 hours per day, the homeowner was paying approximately $1,455 a year in utility cost. 
So just by calculating the amount of time to run the pump to turn the water over two times per day, you just found an option to save the homeowner $825 a year should they pay you $400 for the new equipment plus installation fees. We'll also use this calculated $1,455 a year to calculate the annual savings for our better and best options. Let's now look at a better method, and this better method is also available until the DOE rule takes effect in 2021. The better method is upgrading to a two-speed motor with the timer already installed. This prevents unnecessary wiring from the motor to the timer, as the timer is already installed on the motor at the motor factory. The NEDEC brand for this product is Affinity Two-Speed. A two-speed motor runs at high speed or 3450 RPM, and also at low speed or 1725 RPM. And we know the pump runs at high speed at 100 gallons per minute. At low speed or half speed, the gallons per minute on the pump also is reduced to half or 50 gallons per minute. 50 divided by 100 is half. 1725 divided by 3450 is half. That's how the calculation works. NEDAC recommends running any multi-speed pump at high speed for two hours each day to ensure any leaves far away from the strainer basket are removed from the pool. So if we run the pump on high speed for two hours, we pump 120 minutes times 100 gallons per minute equals 12,000 gallons. We still need to pump another 28,000 gallons to turn the water over our targeted two times per day. So 28,000 gallons divided by 50 gallons per minute at low speed equals 560 minutes or approximately nine hours and 15 minutes to run the pump each day at low speed. Using our long formula, annual operating cost at high speed will be 172.13 and annual operating cost at low speed will be 107.33 for a total energy bill of 279.47 for the homeowner, $279. By charging your customer $551 for the two-speed motor with the timer already installed, plus any installation charges, you could save your customer $1,175 per year in utility costs by replacing the old motor running at 16 hours per day with this two-speed motor with the timer. Let's now look at a best method, which is upgrading the old motor to a variable speed replacement motor. NEDEX brand for variable speed replacement motors is the Neptune. This best method fully complies with the upcoming DOE energy saving rule. One of the advantages of the variable speed option is these motors can run at virtually any speed and not just at half speed or full speed like the two speed motor. But we will want to run this variable speed motor at high speed for two hours each day to ensure we get those stubborn leaves at the far end of the pool. And we will again pump our 120 minutes times 100 gallons per minute or 12,000 gallons at high speed. To complete our two turnover per day goal, we will then run the pump for approximately 12 hours, 45 minutes each day at 30% speed. Annual operating cost at high speed will be 163.47. We'll add to that the annual operating cost at low speed of $41.71 for a total energy bill charge of 205.08 for the homeowner. By charging your customer $575 for the Neptune variable speed motor plus any installation charges, you could save your customer $1,250 per year in utility costs by replacing the old motor with a variable speed motor. Over a five-year period, the homeowner savings is five times that $1,250 or $6,250 for a cash outlay today of $575 for the motor plus your installation charges. This is how you can increase your revenue creating that win-win situation I mentioned earlier. Another best method, which is very common today, is upgrading the old motor and pump to a whole new variable speed pump. A variable speed pump is a standard pump end and a variable speed motor all packaged together as new. The programming of the variable speed pump is exactly as we calculated for the variable speed motor replacement, as the variable speed motor on this new pump accounts for nearly all of the energy savings and functionality. So we will run to, want to run this new variable speed pump at high speed for two hours each day to ensure we get those stubborn leaves at the far end of the pool. 
and to complete our two turnover per day goal, we will then run the pump for approximately 12 hours, 45 minutes each day at 30% speed. Again, the energy savings will be exactly $1,250 per year. Let's review all of our options in the chart below. Our first option was to replace the old motor with a single speed motor and run the new motor only the amount of time necessary to turn the water over twice daily by including a new time clock. Out of pocket expenses are $400 plus installation with annual savings of $825 and a payback period for the homeowner of 5.8 months. A better method was to replace the old motor with a two-speed motor, which included the timer at a cost of $551 plus installation. This resulted in annual savings of $1,175 and a payback period of approximately 5.5 months. These options are good until the DOE rule takes effect. The best method is fully DOE compliant, and here we replace the old motor with a variable speed replacement motor at a cost of $575 plus installation. This resulted in annual savings of $1,250 and a payback period of approximately 5.5 months. Another best method is to replace the old motor and pump with an entirely new variable speed pump unit. The out-of-pocket cost for the homeowner is $1,349 plus installation and annual savings to the homeowner are again $1,250 with a payback period of approximately 13 months. NEDEC recommends any pump aged eight or more years should be replaced. Often utility companies provide rebates to homeowners for variable speed pump replacements, so check your utility company for such rebates. In this scenario, a rebate of $700 to $800 would make this option a very good choice for that homeowner, even if the pump is in great condition. Also, please check the warranty periods on the best methods, as often the warranty periods for these best type products exceed the warranty period for the good or better products. At NEDEC, this is certainly the case. So we want to make a win-win outcome for you and the homeowner. As you can see, there are numerous variables in play which help us determine the best option for you and the homeowner. Some customers will be very interested in maximizing their return on investment and minimizing their payback period. Others will be more interested in the smallest initial cash outlay. Your objective is to lay out the options and let the consumer choose the best option for their pool. In addition to possible utility rebates for variable speed pool pump replacements and superior warranty periods for the best variable speed products, the customer's interest level in the upgrade may also play a factor. The gallons of water in the pool and the pump's maximum flow rate measured in gallons per minute are very important in these calculations. Generally speaking, the larger the pool, the more attractive the best options become as running the pump at low speed is where the energy savings are gained. Also, the higher the utility electricity cost are for the homeowner, they make the variable speed best options significantly more attractive. We use summer 2020 online pricing for the mentioned options in this exercise, but pricing may vary in your area. Please be prepared to price the various options for the homeowner. Instead of doing the calculations manually, there are many pool market energy calculators available and they all appear easy to use. NEEDX is available at www.usmotors.com slash pool calculator. You can simply input the variables and the system will calculate the energy savings and payback periods for your customer's specific pool characteristics. You can also display for them the summary chart so they can select their best choice. Your coaching will be very valuable in their decision making too, as you are their guide for choosing the most logical solution. You can also go to our usmotors.com website and you can get information on the Neptune variable speed product lines, which are the variable speed pool pump motors, and you can see the Affinity 2-speed with timer as well and get information on that particular product. You can also download this presentation and use that for your future needs. Thank you for listening.